my name is purity i'm diddy years old uh, i live in south africa i i thought my life was over the first time i came to south africa i was completely unprepared I had no idea of the extent of the epidemic. It's really hard to put this project down at night to leave the office. I know that just in the time I'm going to sleep, thousands of individuals will die from HIV. People told us that if you're HIV positive, you're dead. You're not going to live. This project is very personal to me, having gone down to South Africa with Bruce to visit the hospitals down there and just people's homes, people infected with HIV. It's absolutely horrible to see what it's doing to their lives. And that's really what led us through our collaborators to launch a more aggressive effort at trying to bring solutions to the problem. So one of the biggest challenges in building a vaccine for HIV is that HIV mutates a lot. You can't just take a single individual and look at the HIV that they have and maybe follow it over time and figure out what's going on. So what Bruce and his team has been able to do is to get data from many, many different individuals. So in South Africa, women bear the brunt of the HIV epidemic. So much so that if you look at pregnant women walking into the clinic, that by age 20, one in three already have HIV infection. I mean, it's a striking figure. Purity is an amazing young woman. She started treatment when she was really sick. She's a very positive-minded somebody, very enthusiastic about life, has big goals and, and ambitions and excitement about life, which when we met her, it was at the stage where she felt like, my life has just been shuttered. It's about the breakdown in family structure. It is a legacy of apartheid. It is a legacy of colonialism. And what you had was you had the destruction of family life. My parent died and they left us with nobody here in this house and it was so painful for us and we didn't have food, we didn't have, nobody was working then until my sister got a job. She is an orphan who made it possible for her siblings to live a manageable life. So that to me tells me that Purity is a, a woman of power, woman of strength, and I really admire her courage. There is always hope, there is always a way, and I'm here today, and you're here with me. I, 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 I'm fine. So the collaboration with uh, Bruce and the South Africa team, it's very fluid. There's so much data being generated. I realized that we had this algorithm that could help him. So he uh, gave us the problem uh, one Friday night and by Monday morning, we had a solution for him. And that's the sort of thing that, that David and others have been able to bring to this problem is to take massive computing power and novel innovative algorithms and allow us then with a vaccine to try and make the virus something it can't be, force it to become what it doesn't want to be, thereby crippling it and thereby hopefully getting the upper hand. If I met somebody with HIV, I, I would tell them to hold on. There's still luck, there's hope, they, they must dream, that, because that's what keeps me going. Dreams, dreams and dreams and hopes, yeah. I firmly believe this is a solvable problem and I and many other people have devoted our careers to this and uh, we're going to continue working on it until we succeed. I love my job. I get to come to work every day and to work on uh, things that have high impact to society, HIV vaccine design, and we're making great progress. It, it would be a dream 
a dream come true. It will be a dream come true for me. Yeah. They say anything is possible. <laughs> yeah.